What you're looking at is the Temple Mount as seen from the top of the Tower of the Church of the Redeemer, a Lutheran church right in the heart of Old Jerusalem. The tower is really one of the highest points in the whole city, and as you're looking down you can see the gold dome of the rock built over presumably where Solomon's Temple was. Not that there wasn't a Solomon's Temple, there certainly was, but whether it was right there or not is a real good question. Once holy, always holy, the archaeologists say, and it may be very true that Solomon's Temple was there. But just a little bit to the left, about a hundred yards to the north, there's another little small dome that you really can't see in this picture. It's built over a piece of bedrock that's actually eight feet higher than the bedrock under the Dome of the Rock. And the Holy of Holies of the Temple was supposed to have built, been built on the highest place on that ridge, which happens to be right there. That may have been the place of Solomon's Temple, or very likely the place of Herod the Great's temple when he built that huge, huge 160-foot high edifice on that gigantic platform known as the Temple Mount. When Jesus returns, he's going to set his foot there on top of the Mount of Olives, that long ridge that you see, the tower on top of the ridge pointing upwards, that's the tower of the Church of the Ascension where people say Jesus ascended into heaven. Well, we don't know exactly where it happened, but it was somewhere on that ridge. The large gray area that you see is a huge old Jewish cemetery that dates back thousands of years, where the Jews buried there are awaiting a resurrection when the Messiah comes. Very interesting. Well, this is Jerusalem. That's the Temple Mount. That's ground zero planet Earth. When Jesus returns, he's going to be heading for that place after he lands on the Mount of Olives right behind it. You're looking at future history happening right there from the top, of the Tower of the Church of the Redeemer there in Jerusalem. And so for that, I say it's cold, it's high up, and wow, it's windy up here too. So God bless you, and thanks for tuning in.